I have many things to do. I am going to Germany in how many hours? Is there like T minus something hours? In 39 hours. <laughs> in 39 hours, in 33 minutes, I will have to go to Germany. I will hop on a car and leave. That's, a, that's not so many hours. I thought it was gonna be more like 72 <laughs> somehow. Okie dokie, that's not a lot of hours. That's barely over 24 hours. I also have a lot of chores to do. I have a lot of chores to do, and I don't think I'm gonna be able to do them all. The priorities to water all the plants, but I also have to repot some, absolutely, because they are not going to be okay while I'm gone. Tiny pots, they need to be watered a couple of times a week, so I just need to take care of a lot of stuff. I need to pack, I don't even know what I'm, I don't even know what I'm bringing with me. I need to pack. I need to go to the store. Mm, stressed out. Yeah, they're so cute. Hello. I think they want something. So we arrived to Germany very late last night. The trip took much longer than anticipated and I think the wind is making this impossible to record but I'll make sure to catch some better footage than this, because this is not great. Okay, this is Miro in nature. There is a path down there. I shan't be taking it. I, I did not get very far. It's laughable how little I have walked into this forest. That's the exit. That's where I've been. There are the Swiss Alps. Not the, the very, very faint mountain in the back. Those are the Alps. And I can finally sing Sound of Music here. Ooh, the sun, the sun. I don't know how to get out of here though. There are paths, which one to take? To go across the field, to go up. I shan't be doing that. And then, I definitely did not come in this way. Where am I? Update, he is alive and found his way out. I am now going to try to find a couple of waterfalls around here. It's also in the nature. <laughs> I am trusting the GPS. This is where it's leading me. It is so beautiful. Hello, where are we going? I do apologize for the shining, <laughs> for the shining. I don't know where I'm going because I'm vlogging instead of looking at the map, but my goodness gracious, where are we? Ugh, nature. I cannot wait for my asthma to kick. <laughs> oh my God, that's a mountain. The slippery slope down there, slippery slope. I hope this isn't like a true hike. I was hoping for like a walk more than a hike because I'm not equipped for hiking. I am probably as equipped for hiking as newborn is for pole dancing. And that's being very generous because probably newborns are more equipped for pole dancing than I am for hiking. So what the heck? This is beautiful. How dare they? 
I can hear water. Am I gonna fall into a river? Um. What? Excuse you, what wolf? What do you mean, wolf? Wir und der wo? What does it mean? Oh, it says Tourismus. Uh oh. I'm gonna use my app to translate this. Um, are we safe? <laughs> Um, I don't, this doesn't look like wolf's territory. You know, it's very steep. Do wolves, do they try so hard? Every step I take, I take with caution. What are the chances of killing the wolf with a camera if it attacks me? Slim. I can't run here. I have to climb back there. Are we safe? Well, I hear the waterfall. I really hope I'm not supposed to go that way. So, this is all beautiful, and I will absolutely die now. Because we are off the beaten path. I have no idea if I know how to get back. This is not... too adventurous. At least the light is better, but me, I might not go down there. Where have you led me, Google? That is no path. Absolutely not. I shan't be going there. This is also no path. I'm supposed to go here. I'm not equipped. I'm giving up. I'm gonna take some photos here and turn the f around. I feel like Belle's father in Beauty and the Beast and like, where have you taken me? I don't know the name of the horse. Like, what the hell? No. No, thank you. It was a nice walk. Is something following me? Oh gosh, this is like Blair Witch Project. I should not be going anywhere with the amount of horror films I have seen. It's pretty though. It's pretty. I'm out of breath. I would not survive a horror movie in the forest. Day and it is absolutely gorgeous. I don't know what I'm doing. The map is not on my side. The Google Maps is not on my side. The weather, it's very hot. It's very, very hot, but it is so pretty. I'm just walking by the river and there are people swimming in the river and like there are public showers and I'm amazed. And no one looks anxious. What the heck? Basel is beautiful. People seem very chill, very relaxed. I will be sitting here and enjoying. I'm trying to see a couple of things. I don't really have a plan. My plan was just to roam around the city, which is what I'm doing. And it occurs to me now that I don't know how to get back the main train station. The lady at the train station gave me such a weird look when I exchanged 100 euros to francs because Switzerland is known to be very expensive and I was like it's just an afternoon trip I'm just here for an afternoon and then I'm leaving and she was like are you still sure because that's not a lot of money like 100 euros is about I would say maybe 100 ish dollars and I got around 80 something francs for that and she just seemed very concerned for my well-being. <laughs> she was right.
completely by accident, I stumbled upon the botanical garden in Basel, and this is the University of Basel's botanical garden. I think this is actually my first time that I have been in a botanical garden, or at least the first time that I can remember, and you know, my memory, I guess, doesn't go very far back. And unfortunately, I did not get a lot of time there. As I said, it was pretty accidental, and we were on the way to the train station to go back to Germany. So I could grab some footage pretty quickly. I did not get a chance to look at all the plants, all the plant names. So that is why you do not see plant names in the screen. It's just some nice footage. Well, semi-nice to be exact, but I did see some of the plants that we also grow in our homes. There were also some very, very nice orchids here. I used to grow orchids, as you know, or maybe you don't know, and now I kind of miss them and I would like to grow them again, but we have no space and too many Hoyas. And unfortunately, I did not see a single Hoya in Basel, so I think that people from Basel should contact me and I should just, you know, give them some Hoyas. I would love to go back to this botanical garden and actually get some proper footage next time. This footage is not so great because I really did not expect to stumble upon a botanical garden. I don't know why I didn't look it up before the beginning of the trip, but maybe next time when I go to Basel I can dedicate several hours in the botanical garden and get some nicer footage of the plants. There are also some cacti, but, you know, who cares about those? I mean, cacti lovers, of course. On our way back from Basel, we stop by in this small German town that is called Bad Sackingen. We have some family friends that live there and that we have not seen in a very long time. 20 years to be exact, so we thought it would be cool to pay them a visit. Now Bad Sackingen, like the rest of the German towns in the south, was very, very cute. And there is this old wooden bridge in Bad Sackingen that connects the town to the Stein, which is municipality in Switzerland. And I think it is pretty cool that you can just walk over this bridge and, you know, one second you are in Germany and the next you are in Switzerland and there are no borders. Now, there is some history to this wooden bridge. Apparently, it is the longest covered wooden bridge in Europe, and it is around 800 years old, though it has been rebuilt multiple times. I learned more about its history, but of course, I forgot everything about it, and that's okay, because whenever I need to know, I can just look it up on Google, and so can you. And I will just leave you with some nice footage of Bad Sackingen and the bridge. burned as ever but okay today i'm in another german town it's called waldshut and there is like another part i think waldshut tiengen or something like that and literally every german town here on the south oh my god the bridge i bet this is like a love bridge but anyways every german town here on the south is so cute and then the bridge for i assume lovers i don't know why 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 do people do this?
You can be in the video. <laughs> We're creating some great content. That, I don't think that's a church, by the way. That's a castle. And I was at that point in power. Really? Yes. That's the one I saw. Do you have to say something for the audience? No. I don't want to. Tell them to subscribe, goddammit! <laughs> <laughs> Well, this is the best ice cream around here. You should try that one. No, we already had one. But that doesn't count, it was on a stick. It looks very German too. All of these cities look similar. Hello, Winston. You're now part of the vlog. Even though you did growl at me, which was very, very uncalled for. <laughs> this is an excellent angle. <laughs> yes, very much. I'm so good at vlogging. It's much easier to vlog when you're with someone than when you're alone. Is it? Yes. Because I tried to vlog alone and I felt very awkward. So all the clips before this one, it's like... <laughs> <laughs> Just pretend somebody's around. It doesn't work, I tried it. <laughs> this is a town that I think should be called Winter Her because otherwise it doesn't make sense. What does Thur mean? Well, there's actually a river called Thur. Thur. Yeah. We have some, it used to be a place for the Romans. They built the city. We even have some Roman baths in here in some way. Did it work? I don't think so. But we can, we can go and see. I, well, yeah, we can see, but I'm not gonna. How how do people feel about thermal baths? This is a question for everyone, because I don't like the idea of it. I don't like the idea of saunas, thermal baths, or anything that involves people naked and close proximity in public. Just my thoughts. Unfortunately, it was time to leave Germany and Switzerland, and it is also time to end this very unhinged travel vlog. Now, people usually love to end these travel vlogs with some profound thoughts, with some messages, and how this experience has changed them. And to that, all I can say is, I'm not changed. I'm still the same, very unhinged and very anxious. Thank you very much. And I shan't be spelling any BS here and tell you how, you know, I'm a completely different person. So that's that for the profound thoughts. I would like to take some time to thank all of my patrons for their incredible support. A massive shout out to my $5 patrons. My two anonymous patrons, Alex von Siebenthal, Amber Clear, Anne Magret Moen, Angela Bernard, Angela Parrish, and C. Ashley Hoyas, Beth Gibson, Betsy, Bougie Panda, Catherine Molina, Daniela Danub, Daniels, Daria Kaminska, Diane Sikorsky, Dipanjali Rao, Farah, Gina K, Gina Kaise, Go Green Tropical, Heather Uppingkamp, OG Scott, Jamie R. Sanod, Yana Griffin, Jessica Chio, Yavin Denod, Kara, Catherine P, Casey Gross, Kelly Cool, Kelso, Kelly Gallagher, Kiwi Mochi, Christy Ehrlich, Laplan de Steph, Mandy Milliken, Marcel Har, Marcelina Novosatsky, Mario West, Mars B, Martina, Alif Perday, Marty Miller, Mary Rose, Melissa Walker, Michael Crowley, Michelle Herron, Nicole Ferranti, Moa Edmund, Neely Yang, Niha Basso, Neely Spicer, Nicole Moreau, Nicole and Caleb of Sleep Tropicals, Nina Nguyen, Nita Macy, PJ, Plant Druid, Planting with Nat, Rachel Peterson, Robin L. Jennings, Robin Roos, Saloma Dahl, Sandra Cornelius, Sherry Kumar, Stephanie H2O, Sybil Williams, Tanya Tessa, Martins, The One True Kyle, Tristan Thomas, Tia B, TJWO, Trista Bailey, Wendy, Wendy Foreman, Wendy Rosman, Xenia Green, Youth of the Wallamoot, and Zlok of Nipponi. Also, a big thank you to my $3 patrons. Andy H, Angelina Farnan, Anna K, Brenda Little, Colleen Coyle, Levi, Constance, Kilone, Claudia L, 
Karen Keenan, Catherine Parsons, Lindsay Ann, Lisa Helling, Nella, Nerdy Kathy, Plantelania Ringlov, and Tang Watana Sriakul. And a thank you to my $1 patrons Alice Barling, Kari, Christina Greengrass, Couture Helvetica, Ida W, Emilia Bronson, Joanna Pearson, Jolly Sullivan, Kayla Vavra, Kelly Ash, Chris Perez, Lauren M, Lori Ann Subramanian, Luzman Fernandez, and Olivia Chinmuller.